Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Software Development with C++. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be looking at the basics of building and using libraries with CMYK. So in the previous video, we looked at a brief introduction to CMYK and how we can build things like simple executables. Now, another thing we often want to you know, build using CMYK and use are going to be libraries. So these might be things like shared libraries. So what we're going to be looking at today is a few examples of how we can both build libraries, use those libraries, and use just existing libraries on our machine. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll go into this zero CMake to start out with. And here we have an example that we should be somewhat familiar with already um, because we've used it a number of times in the past, right, to show off uh, shared libraries. So here, right, we have a simple library that we want to build and use here. So we want to build some sort of math library here. So we have a couple separate integer math functions. So, you know, this add.cpp, this multiply.cpp, they just implement simple, you know, simple operations, right? So add just implements a simple integer add. And of course, uh, multiply just uh, implements a simple integer multiply. So we want to build all of these and do some math library. And then we want to use that library inside of this main uh, function here. So inside of main here, we include a couple header files for add and multiply, and then we go ahead and use both add and multiply inside of this code here, right? But we, we want to link against some math library in order to get these functions. So let's go ahead and see how we can compile and link against this shared library. So let's go ahead and take a look at our cmakelists.txt file here, or .txt. So it's going to start off, you know, the exact same way that, uh, you know, all of our other CMake lists uh, files have started with. They're going to have the CMake minimum requirement here or CMake minimum required to set, you know, what version of CMake we need to build this project. And then we'll just give our project a name here. So we'll just call it something like math. Then we get into, you know, the first thing we want to build here, which is this top level shared library. And to add this library target we want to build, we'll use add library, right? So I have that documentation up on the right hand side of the screen. I'll make sure to link that below the video. But you can see exactly what we're doing here. We want to build some library called math. We want it to be a shared library, right? So we can select things like static or shared um, or module here, as you, as you can see from, uh, you know, the documentation on the right-hand side of the screen. And we want to build it from this add.cpp and this multiply.cpp. And this will take care of, you know, all the other details, such as, you know, having to build, you know, add.cpp and multiply.cpp with that dash F PIC flag, that position independent code flag. Now, of course, right, we don't want to just build this library. We also want to use it and we want to use it with this executable that we want to build. So we'll have another target that we want to build here an executable. So we'll do this add executable main. We want to build that from main.cpp. But how do we tell CMake that we want, uh, you know, main to link against this library that we just built, right? This math library. And the way that we do that is with this target link libraries option. So this is a way to specify any dependencies we have related to linking. So here, what we're saying is that main, this target that we're building is going to depend on math here, right? So in the link step, we need to link main against this math library that we just built. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that works. So we'll go ahead and quit out of here. Then we'll go ahead and make a, a build directory. We'll go into that build directory and then we'll run CMake, right? Um, you know, in that directory with the CMake lists of text file here. And you can see it you know, does everything we expect, right? It finds our compiler and so on and so forth. Um, it generates things like our make file that you know, we can use to build and link our code. So let's go ahead and build everything. Right? And we can do that with just cmake dash dash build with the current directory here. And what we see is that it goes ahead and it compiles our two pieces of object code for our shared library, right? This add.cpp.o and this multiply.cpp.o. And then it links them into this shared library here, libmath.so. So it automatically adds that prefix lib to our shared library. And then you can see that we have this uh, build target math here. So it goes ahead and builds this object code here. And then it links uh, this executable main here. So it built our main.cpp file into this executable as well as linking it against this libmath.so, right? So we can of course just run uh, main here and we can see that we get you know access to those functions, right? Sum of 30, product 200, right? So the correct results from uh, those two operations that we were doing inside of our main function. 
Okay, so that's a simple example of, you know, if we're building a library and also using it in the same, uh, you know, in the same you know, project, right? Now, a lot of times we're using libraries that already exist on our system, right? And a common example of that is, of course, with things like threads. Um, so, for example, we want to link against something like libpthread. So let's go ahead and see an example of that. So we have this simple threads.cpp file here where all we're really doing is having two threads do a whole bunch of increments of some integer that's protected by, uh, you know, some lock guard here um, of, with this mutex. So we lock the mutex each iteration, then increment value, and then release the mutex, right, when the lock guard goes out of scope. And then we just print out the final value here. But because we're using things like, uh, you, you know, threads here and mutexes, we, we want to link against something like pthread. So let's see how we can add that dependency. So again, our you know, project is going to start at the same way. We'll set the CMake minimum required right, with our version. Um, and then we'll go ahead and set our project name. We'll just call it threads. And then we'll do a couple other things. right? So we'll, we'll go ahead and set our uh, standard to C++20. Right? That way we have access to things like std jthread if we want to use them. And then, of course, we have um, our executable we want to build, right? This threads uh, executable from our threads.cpp. But how do we go ahead and say we want to link against something like libpthread? So there's a few special options related to um, threads that, that, that we can set, right? So for example, we can set that we want to prefer uh, pthreads as our thread implementation here. So we can do something like set threads prefer pthread flag on, right? Now, the typical way that we find, say, libraries we want to link against is just through this find package command. So here we want to find the special package threads, and we're going to say that this is required here. So we're requiring you know, some threads implementation to be found here. And that's going to populate this threads colon colon threads, right? That's what we can use as you know this library that we want to link against here. So in target link library, we want to link our threads executable that we generated against this found package, right? Threads, colon, colon, threads here. So we're just abstracting it away what the actual name is. But we've said that, you know, prefer pthread up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this works here. So we can go ahead and quit out of here. We can make a build directory and go into it. And then we can go ahead and run CMake on that previous directory here. And you can see that it, you know, it, it goes ahead and, you know, looks for things like this pthread.h, right? And performing this test, cmake have libc pthread. So it, founds, it, it finds this thread implementation, right? Those were checks that we didn't see before in our previous compile. But now that we're specifically looking for threads, it tries to find these things. Okay, so it successfully generated our... Uh, uh, our make file here. So let's go ahead and build our code. So we'll just do cmake dash dash build uh, with the current directory. And you can see it build and it linked our executable here. And we can, of course, just run it, right? So pretty simple code just adds up, you know, two threads do two to the 20 increments of some integer here. Nothing terribly interesting, but now we're linking against some external library. Now, these external libraries aren't always just built-in libraries, so things like pthreads that are you know, already on most of our machines already. There are sometimes things that we manually have downloaded and built ourselves, but sometimes with these libraries, when we install them, um, they can also provide you know, a means to be found with CMake, right? So here we have a simple example with Google Benchmark, right? So I have this clamp bench. Uh, it's just a simple benchmark for some clamp function here. So we're just going to you know, cap some number you know, at 512, right? So if it's greater than 512, we just go ahead and cap it at 512. Otherwise, we just keep the number at whatever it is. But here we're using Google Benchmark, right? This isn't installed by default on our machine. This is something that we you know, downloaded from GitHub, built, and then installed ourselves. But we can also find uh, libraries like this sometimes, provided that they uh, provide some, uh, some method to be found with CMake. So we'll go ahead and open up our CMake list.txt directory, and we see something uh, somewhat similar to we saw for threads here, but now for a benchmark library. So again, we're going to start with our CMake minimum required in our project. We'll set our standard to C20, and then we'll also set some CMake uh, or some C++ specific uh, compile flags, right? So maybe we want to, uh, you know, error out if we get any warnings and turn on all of our warnings. We'll do O2 optimizations and, you know, 
set our architecture to the native architecture for when we're compiling. Then of course, we'll add our executable here, this clamp bench that we want to create. Um, and then we'll go ahead and try to find this package benchmark here, right? So, and we'll say that this is required because we need to link against libbenchmark. And then we'll say that clamp bench is going to depend on this benchmark library that we had to find here, we had to find this package. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So let's go ahead and make a build directory. We'll go into that build directory and then we'll run uh, cmake, right? Where that cmake list.txt file is. But we can also run dash dash debug uh, find here to debug that find of our package, right? So we can see where exactly that was located. So we'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that it you know, prints out a bit more than normal here, but you can see that it goes ahead and finds things like pthread, um, that's also a dependency. You can see that exactly where it found this, uh, you know, this, this thread CMake file here. It's in this user share CMake 3.22 modules find threads.cmake. And we can also see where it found our uh, benchmark, right? So you can see that it looked through a couple places, it actually found it at, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it considered this path user share, you know, modules, find benchmark.cmake, but it didn't actually find that uh, file there. So it searched around a few more places and eventually where it found it was in this user local lib cmake benchmark, benchmark config.cmake here. So it found our benchmark, uh, you know, uh, eventually, right? It had to search a few places here. So it went ahead and linked it will you know, put a step inside of our build, inside of our make file to link against this library that it found, but it had to search a couple places for that. So running with something like debug find can be useful, um, you know, when, you know, CMake is not finding something or to see where CMake is looking for a particular library. Okay, so we went ahead and, you know, generated things like our uh, library here, or rather our, our make file to build our uh, benchmark that's going to link against our library, this lib benchmark. Let's go ahead and compile this, right? So we'll just do cmake dash dash build right, with our current directory. And you can see that it successfully does everything, right? It goes ahead and compiles our object code. It links everything together into our benchmark here that's linked against lib benchmark. And we can, of course, run this Google benchmark here. And everything works just as expected here, right? This clamp bench. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. It's an introduction to building it and using these shared libraries. Um, I'll make sure to link things like the CMake documentation for add library below the video. But it's always you can find this or any of my other examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.